Now another way for me to um, format cells is to use the uh, format cells dialog box. I can get to the format cells dialog box by clicking these right here in the bottom right corner of each group in the ribbon. <clears throat> the home tab is the format cells dialog box launcher. So I click that and then you can see I have tabs for different types of formatting so here I'll add borders and I'll just add a big outline I can click that button I can um, you know choose a style of my line here dotted solid how big you know double line anything I want it to be alright so I'm clicking oh, I just deleted it so I'll go back because I'd already added it press OK and then I hit it again so I undid it but if I want to redo it, I can go up here, and as you can see, there's the undo button, and that'll add it. No, it didn't. All right, let me select the cell. Launching the dialog box launcher. Dialog box. Format cells dialog box. Click on borders. Click on outline, and OK. And there you can see I have a bold outline. I can go up here as well. I probably should have did the bold outline up there. And then it's much easier, a much shorter way to just use that. And then I can add some color to the title. All right. Get into a little bit more uh, formatting. Actually, um, we can also do number formatting. So since these are, we're talking about money here. I can do this as accounting, I can do it as currency, but up here we can also format the numbers. If we were talking about different currency, it could go here and I could uh, I need to select the cells. And as you can see, I'm, I can select single cells or I can select multiple cells. And also another thing about selecting cells. Um, you don't have to just use your mouse like I'm doing there. You can also select the cells that you want to edit by pressing shift and then just pressing the arrow buttons. So I just went right down or you can select all cells by selecting that cell. So I'm selecting a top left cell. Now I'm holding down shift and I'm going to select the bottom right and there I just selected an entire range of cells. All right. So I can go in here, I can change this currency, change this to anything I want as far as number formatting goes. I can change it to um, the euro. Now it's euro. But I'll put it back to dollar signs. Okay. Now if I wanted to get rid of all this formatting that I just did here, I can select all of the cells and then up here in the editing group and the home tab I can click the clear button and it come, comes down here I can uh, clear all that would erase everything that I've entered if I press clear all there everything's gone but I don't want I don't want to do that so I'm pressing the undo button and there I get it all back what I do want to do is remove all the formatting that I just created so I can click clear format and now all the formatting is gone I could also clear content now I've pretty much cleared everything but I don't want to do that um, let's put the formatting back if I were to click clear content that would clear only the content but not the formatting and then there's other options for comments and hyperlinks you can add links you can add comments in Excel and you can remove just those of the links. Okay, so again, I do want to get rid of the formatting because I want to show you other ways to format these. All right, now I'm going to um, copy just a particular part of this table and I'm going to paste it. So, what I do to copy this is I select the part that I want to copy and I press control C that's the shortcut I could also select it 
and I could go up here and just click copy and then I can move it down and I'll press control V now let's undo that or I can click paste now the reason why I'm moving this down and I clear all the formatting is because I want to show you different ways um, what you can what you can also do is um, use Excel tables so basically just select the range of cells and then click on the insert button and click table okay you want to keep this my table has headers because these right here are the headers employee quarter one quarter two quarter three quarter four those are the headers if we didn't have that we wouldn't check it and I guess I can show you that real quick but I'll click OK and there you have a table let's say we didn't have that what would happen is Excel now let's click insert table and we're going to keep that unchecked because there are no headers and Excel will add generic headers and then we can go in here and we can change the name of the headers ourselves. okay but we already had headers so let's just undo that and again select your range of cells and insert table alright once you have a table um, created I like it because you can you can sort from uh, you know you can sort the different columns or the you know the different columns and rows and the data so you can do like from largest to smallest so you can have your highest um, earning sales representative at its smallest from largest top or if you're looking to get rid of some people you can do smallest to largest and you can see like alright these are our weak guys let's get rid of them um, you can also filter you know filter certain columns out I have a tutorial on tables. You'll have to play with this. If you want to really learn about tables, just go watch my tables tutorial. I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just introducing you to them. Uh, and the tables, you can add, you can also, as you can see, you get a contextual tab up here. And what this does is um, you can make changes. Here it is. This only appears because I, because I have a table. So this is a tab that's not always up in the ribbon. It's a ribbon that's only available when there's a table in the worksheet. So here I can add total rows and that's kind of what I was getting to. And when you have the table, you, your total rows, um, you, as you can see, when you select on each column there is an arrow and these, with this arrow you can um, choose different functions. So you don't have to enter the functions manually, you can just um, select them. So again, the sum function is what we would use. Here I could find the average sales if I wanted to so the average sales for quarter two, um, the average employee sold twenty nine thousand. Anything below twenty nine thousand dollars that quarter would be below average. Anything above would be above average. So, you know, you can see different um, functions. Standard deviation. Um, so there are other ways to use functions than what I introduced previously. But we like to use a sum because we want totals and again we can format by selecting our cells that we want to format and clicking the dollar sign right there formatting the number <clears throat> okay um, other things that you can do you have charts that you're able to add um, if you're say you're putting this together for your boss and he wants a chart to go with he wants a bar chart um, say he wants a chart that shows um, basically just the quarters the total sales for each quarter compared to each other what you can do is you select the cells that you want to chart click insert 
And over here, you can 